All right, guys, Papa Pepper back once again. Um, haven't done a video for a couple days. A couple things been going on. Just busy lately. Been recording some stuff. Haven't had time to edit it. And then when I went to work today, I forgot, you know, this, which I can plug into the cigarette lighter and run the computer off of. And if I don't keep my main computer hooked up to the battery source or the power source at all times, it doesn't work. I left this morning when my entire family was sleeping and I got home at like one in the morning. Okay, I do not like heading to work without being able to spend some time with my family. I don't like coming back home later than I'm able to, you know, tuck my family into bed, do devotions with my kids, that type of stuff. So today, hopefully that sneak preview kind of lets you see a little bit of what I got into today. And I'll show you some more of that in a minute. But I wanted just to offer up some encouragement for people. Um, who are dealing with things with their jobs and I actually am basing this partially off of a steemit post I did probably a week and a half ago and it was encouragement for others but it was also encouragement for me because that's something I need as well when I'm out there on the road if I'm spending a night at a hotel if I'm not gonna see my family at all that day different things like that it makes it hard for me because this is where I want to be and a lot of my life right now is finding ways to drop the cost of living, to increase the quality of life, to make the amount of money we need small enough that hopefully I can make that amount from home. And that's some of my goals. So I'm just gonna offer up some encouragement and then I'm gonna talk a little bit more about today. So pretty much money is the main reason a lot of people do what they do as far as a job wise. But there can be side effects or perks or things that we can also experience because of our jobs that if we're only focusing on money, it seems so small, and it can be discouraging at times. Where if we step back and look at the broader picture, consider some of the other potential benefits, that can be encouraging to us. So one of the things that I'm gonna point out is travel. Okay, however long your travel is to work, um, sometimes I can get done with a job and be in another state and have like a six or seven hour drive home after the work day's done. But because I'm able to travel for work, I get to go a lot of places, see a lot of things I wouldn't otherwise see. And while I am working, it's nice to be able to also experience things like just checking out the scenery, meeting different people, being in different areas, seeing different stuff I wouldn't normally see. Um, that's cool. And that's a blessing. Maybe you have some of that in your job as well. Another thing is helping others. Now, some of what I do is a traveling handyman, so people have issues, all sorts of issues. You should see some of the stuff I get involved in where they're in over their heads to the point they had to call in somebody for help just to focus on eliminating that problem, fixing that you know issue, solving that, and completing that task. So we get to come in and come into a messed up situation, evaluate it, figure out how to use it or how to deal with it, you know, so people can get back to using whatever they're supposed to be using handling their equipment, dealing with whatever the issue is, and then by the time we leave, you know, things are things are where they should be. So we get to help others in that way. But also, I mean, we get to, because we're out there around in the world, I mean, I remember once coming up on a guy whose motorcycle was on fire, and he was not doing very good putting out. Now, we were able to put his motorcycle out for him because we had some water with us, we had some welding gloves, we have other things. Um, you know, we get to help others. So perhaps you have a job like that too that allows you to help others. That's another cool thing besides travel that your job may provide. One other thing is hobbies. Okay, I have hobbies like herping. Herping is checking out reptiles and amphibians. I found at least three different pockets. There's isolated pockets of Mediterranean geckos in the state of Arkansas. That I found three of them this year that I would have never encountered had I not been traveling for work. One was in Jacksonville, one was in um, Russellville, and I forget the other area, but there was three different cities I was able to find pockets of Mediterranean geckos, you know. And my hobby of herping, I was able to, to enjoy that while I was gone. And the cool thing too is, you know, I may have been spending the night away from my family in a hotel, but when the hotel room is crawling in geckos, I mean, that's cool. And I definitely enjoy it. They look like little crocodiles, really cool creatures. So 
maybe there's other hobbies, you know, that also your jobs let you check out. Um, a cool thing too is like, I don't like just storing useless information. Like I still know exactly how to make a Whopper from Burger King. I don't necessarily need to know how to make a Whopper from Burger King, but that information is stored here. So when I have information that's not exactly worthless information, by the time I get done with the job, that's beneficial. Um, I've ran crews of up to 76 people before, and then all of a sudden I wind up with the family with six children, okay? So I can take my supervisor skills, and trust me, I can supervise like a boss. I can take my supervisor skills that I gained in the workforce and apply them to helping get some tasks done with my children. I know how to divide and conquer different tasks or different goals into digestible things that little people can handle. Um, also, like my children and I, we uh, took a carpet out of a building for some people and we laid some hardwood flooring in there because I gained that experience. That's pretty cool. You know, they're getting this stuff and learning, just being at least exposed to it, familiar with the idea as a, as a toy, as a job, as a, as a fun thing that they can do, an activity. And uh, you know, I didn't learn until I was in my 30s. Another thing is a lot of my work history has been in food preparation where I'm working in restaurants and I'm cooking in bulk. All of a sudden you wind up with a family of eight, cooking in bulk also comes in handy. So there's this experiences from my workforce that can be applied, you know, from my work history and the things I've done that can be applied to my life. And that's a great benefit to me. Another one is like brainstorming and problem solving. With a lot of things, including your mind, it's use it or lose it. So if I am able to do some creative thinking, some problem solving, and brainstorming, evaluating a situation, figuring out how to solve this. And uh, the cool thing too is the main guy I work with, he does a lot of that too. Um, so we come at the same problem from a couple different angles. We figure out the best way to deal with something. All of a sudden we've got a great solution and we were able to use our mind. We didn't, you know, Google or YouTube it right away. We, we thought, and that's important to me. And then those skills that you learn like that, you can maybe apply later into life because you're that much better at creatively thinking, thinking outside the box, evaluating a situation and finding a solution to it. And then the last thing that I'm gonna point out is some jobs aren't exactly fast paced. Some jobs aren't exactly something that's so mentally and physically and whatever demanding that our mind is just concentrating on the whole time. There can be jobs that are rather mundane, that are rather, um low mental you know input and that gives us time to think um we really need to be thinking about life and sometimes even a horrible job can give us time to think about what to do to make our lives better to get us a better job and things like that so i appreciate time to think i appreciate being able to step back and evaluate my life and just having the moment and the time especially if you're you know punched in or getting paid for it that and and you're still getting the job done but while you're getting the job done being able to kind of contemplate and spend some time thinking too many people leave early in the morning they're tired they work hard then they come home and they settle for amusement a meaning not muse meaning to think so just i'm gonna enjoy myself by not thinking for a bit then a lot of them alter their state of conscience to make sure that they're, you know, thinking even less. That's not exactly the way I'd recommend going. So hopefully that's some good stuff for you guys to think about. So like I said, we can all use encouragement, myself included. Hopefully that can bless some of you guys as you kind of deal with some of the struggles of life. It can be difficult, work can be demanding, but when we can find those added perks, besides just earning money, sometimes it gives us the boost and the encouragement that we need. Like I said, about a week and a half ago, that was a pep talk I gave myself. Kind of typed a lot of it out in the form of a Steemit post, uh, shared with some others, some people got some encouragement from it, and thought it was worthwhile to share here too, because I also wanted to find a way to work in some of this stuff that I dealt with today. Today, I got to start building a teepee. Now the teepee came in a kit. There was both a manual that came along with it and a series of videos to show you how to do this. I've never set up a teepee before in my life. This thing is huge. The platform we built for it is 25 by 25. And then some of these poles are probably 27 or 28 inches. Um, this thing's like 20 feet tall. It is absolutely crazy. And just heading through somebody already with the whole thought process, right? Because people have been making teepees for a long time. Um, probably more common here a couple hundred years ago. But when you can take that information and learn how to kind of start off with your couple things, tie them together, spread them out, 
how to put all this stuff up that high really from ground level it was quite a process and it was a beautiful thing um, I took some pictures of the thing and just wanted to share them because I think it's so cool but I couldn't exactly do like a step-by-step how-to or something again I was working and I had to concentrate on actually getting the task completed and doing what we're supposed to be doing but I was able to take some snapshots along the way so I'm gonna kinda roll those as an outro and again this is something I did, couldn't do at home but because I left for work I got paid for it I got some cool experience got to check out some really neat stuff and learn you know learn some things in the process and now if I ever want to erect a TP on my own land or somebody else has one and um, I have some of that experience to bring to the table so it was pretty cool it was a long day and then we went after work and helped some people out for a bit before we came home which is why it turned into such a long day didn't really get to see my family today but we'll make up for that we've made up for it a lot of other days and we're moving forward towards a goal with the purpose so I'll leave you guys with another just pile of these photos some of the process and then also some of them are just kind of artsy more hey this is a really cool shot See what you guys think. If you guys liked it, leave a comment in the below. Um, and also, if you got some encouragement from this, let me know. And uh, what else is a benefit of your job that I may have overlooked when I shared a couple of the benefits of mine? I'll see you guys next time. Pop out.